Okay, so now we are going to create our first viewport for a project. So I have an empty sheet here. And then normally we're in our home home tab. We're going to go to the layout tab and you can see layout viewport. So if I click rectangle, this is going to create a square or rectangle viewport. So you can see there's no, I can't hover over and I can't add um, vertexes or make any changes. It's, it's completely just a rectangle. Um, so this is a great, like very basic viewport. And here I will show you without it being on the viewport layer my viewport has then a nice box around it. But um, the other option is I can go a polygon and just like drawing a polyline, CL for close is now I've made a polygon out of my polyline and now I can edit it however I want to. And there you have it. Pretty nice, huh? Um, and again, if for some reason I needed to change the rotation, I can I can simply now just RO for rotate, select the viewport, and rotate it. It used to be much more complicated to rotate it. Now it's pretty easy to rotate it. Same thing to move, so I'm just M for move. And now I can pick up and move that viewport. So this is my preferred way. It's using the polygon. Uh, because oftentimes, I'll go back here. If I have a note, let's say I have a really big um, viewport that's taking out most of my sheet. And I got to fit a note in here. As you could see, I can then use it to then add I'll drop some notes in here. I can then easily change the viewport to go around the notes that I have something really quick and fresh. Um, but I'm going to delete all those. I will give you a little hint if you accidentally do a rectangle, but you want to, after the fact, you have some notes that you need to add up here. You can then go to the clip. So VP clip, viewport clip. Select the viewport that you want, and then you can then draw a poly around it. And now it's turned it into a poly. So now you have all the vertices. You can add, change it however you need to. So oftentimes I use the VP clip, viewport clip to if a client sends a, a rectangular viewport and I need to add notes and clip the viewport is instead of redrawing the whole viewport, I just take what they have, clip it, and then make the change. So I don't, I wouldn't have to deal with scale or anything. So now that we have approximately 
you know, our viewport in. Now I want to scale it. So I'm going to select the viewport that I want to scale. And I could do a custom scale, but like I said, we don't want to do a custom scale. To, we want to use industry standard scales. So I'm going to come here under up for you guys so you can see so under standard scale um, if you just zoom with your mouse like we were doing it sets it to custom but I want to do I'm going to scroll down and so this one says one foot equals or one inch equals 20 feet but you can see it's really far away um, hard to see. So now if I wanted to, I could jump to one inch equals 10 feet. That's much better. Maybe I want it a little closer. Maybe I do one eighth. So one eighth inch equals one foot. So I could come through here. Let's say I just wanted to focus in this lower area. A vertex here. And I had my north arrow, I didn't change it. Um, here's my scale bar. Um, so one eighth inch equals one foot. So one inch is eight feet in this scale. So I'm going to then, most importantly, now that I have everything set, I'm going to lock my viewport. Now I'm going to grab this and go one inch. And again, when I go back home and I do the change space, now when I click it, you can see it's eight feet. So now my scale is cracked. And I always say, always, always, always that you want to then, you know, you once you check this, you know, you want to double check your scale that your scale bar matches. Um, that can be a big thing because if the contractor starts, let's say you have this set to something else like 1 16th, um, then all his calculations of one inch instead of equaling eight feet is really 16 feet. Um, then they didn't bid the job correctly, you know, then the length of pipe is going to be wrong. So um, that's what I always double check. And then again here um, for symbols, I have any symbols in my plan. So it can be any symbol. I just like using this because I always know what it equals. So in here, I'm going to do change space also. And this is 96. So then that's when I type in dim scale. Type in 96. And that means that then anything that now I bring in here is going to be a 96. 96 so it all everything will look proper so let's do this again so let's say i wanted to change the scale i can come up here i need to unlock it and let's say i want to go to 1 to 10 so that's 1 to 10 i'm going to change this to 1 to 10. let's check it so I'm going to lock it now. Draw my one inch. And if you notice when I'm doing this, I'm not clicking my final point. So I have the one point and then I just type in one inch and then escape. Now this is a one inch line. 
change space that through and it's 10 feet. So we did that correctly. And then from here, now let's say we wanted to do, let's see. So if I click on the viewport, now it shows what the scale is down here. I can click this. Oh, ooh, sorry. Clicking wrong buttons here. Click the viewport. Come on. Oh. Again, helps if you unlock it. Now, here's everything of that list that we did in the properties, but you can go to custom here. I'm going to show you how to make a new one. So let's say I wanted to do something that I'm not going to advise you to do, but let's say for some reason you really wanted to do one to 25 and this is only one to 20. Um, everything should be default in here, but you know, I just want to show you guys just in case. So I'm going to add one. And this scale, so we're going to name it. I'm going to call it 1 to 25. So in paper space, you always want this to be 1, but then in drawing units, I'm going to have this be 25. You can see what they've done here. So I'm going to edit this 1 to 120. And what they're doing here is scaling is because one to 10, but there's, because you, you need to make inches, uh, common units is so then, um, 10 feet converted into inches is 120 inches. So that is one thing I just did wrong here. Let's see if I can fix this. So this, that would do one foot or one inch equals 25 inches. So I'm gonna bring up my calculator and I wanna do 25 times 12 is 300. So now when I do this, I can find my custom one. And when I do, one inch and I push it through it's now 25 feet Ta -da. um I did not lock it so I'm going to show you if you ever then you forget to lock it and you zoom in and you're like oh man I really messed up everything after I had it you know maybe I panned around and zoomed if you ever want to just then hit the undo button to get back to where, where you were. And then go lock your display. And then I'm going to show you a little hint here. So let's say I'm going to say that this was I'm going to make this a really small scale here. Maybe not that small. Something like this, maybe. I'll pick this up in the next video.